Hey what's up guys in this particular video I will be showcasing you four different methods to take a screenshot on the Galaxy S25 Ultra. So let's begin the video. Starting with the first method and it is using the palm swipe gesture. To take this screenshot you just need to swipe the palm from left to right or right to left to take the screenshot. If that method is not working for you you just need to open up your setting, scroll down towards advanced feature tap on that scroll down and tap on motion and gesture now at the end you will find the palm swipe to capture toggle turn this on and you can easily use that method now if you have a screen protector on your device go to your settings and then display enable the touch sensitivity and now you will be able to take the screenshot using the palm swipe gesture a two button combination method to take a screenshot is a good option if you want to take a screenshot of the lock screen. However, you can use this method on any page. To use this method, you need volume down and the power button. You can find them on the right side of the device. Now quickly press and release both of these buttons together. Holding these button bring the power menu instead of taking the screenshot. So quickly press and release the keys. It will save the screenshot to the gallery. Next method to take the screenshot is using the edge panel. Go to the edge panel by pulling this handle. Swipe through the board until you reach the task page. On the task page, you will find the take screenshot button. Tap on it. To capture the screenshot the screenshot will be saved automatically to add a task page on your edge panel navigate to the settings select display scroll down you will find the edge panel tap on it make sure it is on next tap panels from these available panels select task you will get this check mark on top of it in future Whenever you want to capture the screen, open the edge panel, navigate to the task page and take a screenshot. You will see this toolbar which will give you an option to edit, tag or share the screenshot. The fourth method is using the quick panel. So swipe down from the top of the home screen to open the quick panel. Swipe down once again to expand it. Now tap this pencil icon from the top right corner of the device. Here tap edit. In the bottom half of the screen, you will see available toggles. Look for the take screenshot, press and hold on it and drag it on top of the active area. You can adjust the placement as per your convenience. In future, you can take the screenshot on the Galaxy S25 Ultra. Go to the quick panel by swiping down twice and you will see the take screenshot button. Tap on it to save the screenshot. A long scrollable screenshot is a method to save multiple pages in one screenshot. So let me show you how you can do it. To start with, go to the page or app you want to save the screenshot. Take the screenshot using any of the methods shown before. You will get this scrollable screenshot button in the toolbar. Tap on it. It will scroll the page and start capturing the screen. If you stop tapping this button or reach the end of the page, it will stop scrolling the page and save the screenshot to the gallery. To view the screenshot, go to the gallery and you will find all the screenshot here. This is the preview of one of the screenshot we have saved on. Now I hope you will find this video on how to take a screenshot on the S25 Ultra helpful. If you have any queries or feedback, you can share it with me in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Peace.